I bought this Dell Latitude E5440 on eBay for 30 bucks. And it came with a power supply, which in and of itself, that's worth 30 bucks right there. But a couple things, it does not have a hard drive. And of course, there's no operating system. And the battery is shot. Now, I looked up this battery and I can buy this battery for $18. So I might go ahead and do that. Uh, then it's a $48 laptop. And then um, I, I'm just going to use a cheap little SSD that I have for a hard drive in here. And then I'm going to install Linux on it. So let's go ahead, open this up, and uh, let's put a hard drive in it. Oh, this is funny. Came with Windows 7. <laughs> Okay, so then we've got this. Well, it's like we've got one screw here. It's missing a screw, so. Okay, so I've got extra screws. I can put one on the other side there. Okay, so now for a hard drive, I've got this one here. It's called KingFast. KingFast uh, 256 gigabyte SSD. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw that in. I don't know where I got that drive, KingFast. I'm going to look it up to see how much actually that drive costs. Um, but I know it's an off-brand, but really this laptop is going to be inexpensive anyway. So, hey, if it works, it works. That's all I care about. 256 is plenty for a laptop in my opinion especially for linux now if you're going to run windows on it yeah you're you're starting to starting to get close to the limit but linux linux mint is very resource friendly so everything else looks pretty clean um that fan is nice and smooth for a 10 year old computer this looks pretty nice that does crack me up, that Windows 7. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So we're going to go ahead and throw this back on. Easy peasy. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw the screws in. That's how confident I am. Of course, you know, when you do something like that, you know what happens. Something goes wrong. The drive isn't working. <laughs> but I would not have put that drive on my hardware shelf if it didn't work okay we're back together now let's grab a let's put this back in I'm gonna order that I'm gonna order that battery so 30 bucks 18 bucks for the battery we're at $48 let's boot this thing up let's plug it in boot it up and uh, see if we can install Linux on it. Okay, so I have the latest version of Linux Mint 22 installed. And you'll notice down on the bottom here, I have a ton of apps installed. <laughs> and I did that because I wanted to test all these different apps to just see how well they uh, are performing. So let's take a look at some of these apps. If I open up, let's say Firefox. That actually opened up pretty well. Um, let's go to Brave. That opened up pretty good. Let's go to Caden Live. That's actually opening up pretty quick. Of course, I'm going to be editing a video to see how well that works. And then um, we'll see how good this thing actually operates. Um, let's go to GR Sync. Pretty good. Right now, I'm just testing how fast these applications actually open. That's pretty good. So they're all opening fairly well. Yeah, so this thing is moving right along. Now, I did not mention what kind of hardware this thing has. It has a CD-ROM drive, which is right here. And I did test the CD-ROM drive. Of course, I can't run a video show you a video because um, 
it would be copyrighted. So um, I did run a video and it worked well. Um, if you right click, I can go eject. Maybe you can hear the eject. So you can hear the drive eject. So it's working. It's working well. No problems with it. Um, of course, it recognized that drive king fast. That's where my operating system is. And it also has an SD slot, an SD card slot. So I'm going to throw an SD card in here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, and there it is. Look at that instantly. So I took my camera out and I shot some 4K video. It is right here. It's 2.9 gigabytes. So let's drop that onto the desktop. So the transfer rate is just over 21 megabytes per second, which can't complain about that considering the age of the computer. And while that's copying, you'll notice down here, uh, the Wi-Fi adapter is working perfectly fine. Everything's, you know, everything's in order. I'm connected to Netgear 57, which is the Wi-Fi here at the house. Um, the audio is working just fine. Internal microphone, built-in audio, that's working fine as well. Okay, so now what I want to do to test the speed of this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit this 3 gigabyte file that I have on my desktop. I just took my camera outside and just goofed around with it, taking a few pictures or videos of my dog. Okay, so let's just drop it onto the timeline. Now, I would not expect much from this because it's, I mean, how old the computer is. And this is a 4K video. And let's just, let's just cut out a couple portions here. Let's just say we'll cut that, that part out. Just kind of like we're goofing around, doing some editing. Remove that space. Um, let's just go over here and just kind of, you know, we're just kind of goofing around like we were actually going to be editing a large video. Um, just like that. So let's just go ahead and do an export. Let's see how long it takes to render this. Um, let's just put it right there. Yeah, untitled MP4. And this is a, it says it's 6 minutes and 48 seconds. Let's, let's try this. Render to file. And actually, how long was this video actually? It was, whoops, let's go back. Yeah, so the video was six, over six minutes, almost seven minutes. So let's see how quickly this renders. So it says 46 minutes and 33 seconds. You want to know something, though? I'm not going to complain about that. That is a large 4K video. It's a three gig video. And so all I have to do is just walk away and let it render and come back in 45 minutes. So let's do that. Let's see if it's actually 45 minutes. Okay, so let me give you the numbers on that. Let me get to that screen. I just lost that screen. Okay, so for that video that it, uh, it, it rendered, it actually ended up taking 28 minutes and 18 seconds. Now that was a 4K video and it was almost three gigabytes. So that's actually pretty good time, I think. I mean, considering I did the same test on my desktop, my desktop took five minutes and 32 seconds. Now you would say, wow, that's almost six times longer. Well, yeah, it is, but here's the deal. That's a 10-year-old laptop, and um, it did just fine. It just took a little bit longer. Now my, lap my desktop has 32 gigs of RAM. That laptop has four gigs of RAM, so it's understandable. And just laptops just aren't made for that. I mean, even my new laptop that was about a year and a half old, I don't render video on that because it just takes too long. So... I'm perfectly fine with that. Now, incidentally, uh, after I installed uh, all the apps, I also installed LibreOffice Impress. And I have taken it and done presentations with it. Now, I teach fourth and fifth grade boys. And so uh, I do a lot of presentations, a lot of heavy duty graphics, and a lot of video embedded in the presentation. And it did perfectly fine, didn't hiccup once. So, I mean, so there you go for what it's worth. Now, as far as the cost goes, let me look at the numbers here for the cost. I'm trying to do two things at once, hold the camera. In. So it actually ended up costing, it's the Dell Latitude E5440. Uh, it was $30. Now that laptop was made in 2014, so it's 
quite old. Uh, the battery for it is $18, and the KingFast 256 gigabyte SSD drive is 24 for a grand total of 72 bucks. <laughs> 72 bucks for a laptop. Now, I know what you're probably thinking also. You're probably thinking, well, that thing's 10 years old. How much longer is it going to last? My thought on that is it's been, it's been going steady for 10 years. I think if the laptop's going to go 10 years, I bet you it's going to go another 10 years. Of course, I won't use it that long. But it's great to have for backup. So I have no problems taking that just about anywhere and doing anything with it because it'll just it'll handle anything. So um, no problem at all. And incidentally, I mean, if, if, if you uh, wanted to, you know, you could do something like that and it, 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 give it to, a, you know, a kid or somebody who doesn't, you know, they don't have the money to actually have a laptop. You can give it to them and say, here, here's a laptop for you. They'll have to learn Linux, but I think they should learn Linux anyways. I don't think kids should be learning Microsoft and, and Mac, that's, you know, Apple. That's my, my thought on it. I think all kids should be learning Linux, but that's just my thought. But anyways, yeah, so it's a $72 laptop. I think that's a screaming deal and it, it'll last many years. So yeah, so if you you know if you you want to you need a laptop or some you know somebody who needs a laptop, grab, go on an eBay, grab an old used one. You know this one here had no hard drive and it had uh, you know no operating system, but we can remedy that really quickly. And that uh, Kingfast drive seems to be working great. It screams right along, so no problems at all. Anyways, yeah, seventy-two dollar laptop. I think that's a screaming deal. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.